What's going on, everyone? Welcome to AWS Summit London. Here, we are going to talk about AWS Jam journeys. My name is Aaron Hunter. I'm one of the on-air hosts. I'm also a technical trainer with AWS Training Certification. And with me, we have one of my good friends, Sam. Hey, everybody. I'm Sam Biggins. I'm a solutions architect with the Jam team, and I'm thrilled to be here with Aaron and talking to y'all. So you mentioned that you're actually a member of the Jam team, but first I have a question for you. And we, we didn't talk about this earlier, but what's up with your handle, the alias is this magical Mr. Biggs. <laughs> That's a, I appreciate that. So I really wanted to go for magical cool Mr. Biggins. I don't remember if it was Twitch or Twitter that said I was one character over and, and magical Mr. Biggin just, just felt a little weird. So I thought Biggs made it a little <laughs> fun and edgy. And so uh, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> It was so random because we just got done talking about what we we're going to talk about. But anyway, so you're on the Jam team. Can you tell us more about what AWS Jam is? Absolutely. Yeah. So so Jam is a, a gamified hands-on learning. And, and what you see behind me is actually a live Jam event. And not, well, not a live right now, obviously, or else these people are really good at holding still. Are you there right now? Um, I wish. Okay. No, this, is, uh, this was uh, Las Vegas last reInvent. And... Uh, this was a live competition, about 300 people. So Jam is often a live event, but we also have this thing called Jam Journeys, which are single player. And, you know, I think what we're here to talk about is what we just wrapped up was a series that was very much along those lines where folks got to try jams out for themselves and watch us and some of our guests play them. And we just had a, a great time with that. Yeah, so we had homework or home fun for the four episodes. Uh, actually, three of them had ho home fun. Uh, so episode one, well, hold on. We, we need to show them how to get there. So go ahead and type in AWS Power Hour. <laughs> go ahead and type in awspowerhour.com. And then I'll take you over to the AWS training and certification on Twitch landing page, which is where you can find more information about all all of our different series, not just the AWS Jam Journeys. But here in the center of my screen, we can see AWS Jam Journeys. If you click on that, it'll take you to the Jam Journeys landing page, which I've cheated. I already have it pulled up here. But we can see it has information about the show. Now, before we break down each series, Sam, can you tell us more about Jam Journeys other than it's an individual-based challenge escape room type thing? Yeah, absolutely. So. You know, the thing, the thing that I like about jam challenges and jam journeys is that, you know, as opposed to, you know, kind of your traditional lab content, right, where it's, it's you kind of come in and step one is, you know, today we're going to talk about S3 buckets. So you go in, it says click, click here, click create new bucket, type the name. Uh, you know, I tend to go on autopilot and I'm like, I don't, what did I just do? What did I just learn? Um, and so jams are a little more, right? Yeah, exactly. You're kind of that ro robot thing, right? And maybe an AI could do it for us these days, probably. Uh, but so, so it asks us to think about it and to solve the challenge, right? And, and when I'm building jam challenges, I love to build it the way I mentor people. So it's a lot of like, hey, here's some documentation. Here are the things you need to know. See if you can put those together and figure it out, right? And so it gives people a chance to kind of like cr think critically about the problem, but it still has clues. So if you get stuck, we're going to give you the answer. It's not that we're going to tell you to go home with nothing. We want you to be successful. We want you to get your hands on. It's just really fun. It's a chance to kind of get your, you know, get get stuck in, so to speak, and uh, really, you know, learn some of the services, right? I, I, I've talked to people that have worked with AWS for a long time that often come away going like, you know, it's been a long time since I wrote an IAM policy. And boy, was that a, a refresher. It just reminded me of all the things that go into, you know, just the minutia. So that's, the, you know, kind of the, the long and the short of it. I mean, sometimes I need refreshers of how to make the IAM policy, but here it says you can get some hands-on experience with AWS Jam, and that's because there might be some guided uh, type solutions. And I know in episode three, we talked about guided or prequel and sequel. And anyway, anyway, let's talk about all the different episodes. So episode one, we kicked off the series. We talked about what is AWS Jam, and we went through uh, the overall journey of uh, talking about S3 and what, what else was it? I am. You just talk, talked about those two. Oh my gosh, I'm repeating what you said. I'm sorry. I was listening to you. <laughs> but we show how to log in. And for those who maybe haven't watched episode one yet, Sam's going to show us how to log in one more time today at the very end of, I guess, me talking here. Um, what was your favorite part about episode one, Sam? <laughs> 
You know, episode one, we let the we let the live audience rename the characters. I thought that was fun. I would love to do more build on the fly in the future. That was really cool. And it was just fun to see people like getting excited and, you know, posting on LinkedIn when they were starting to finish the home fun. And, you know, we just I think we kicked off a great a great rapport with uh, with the crowd there. Yeah. And we had some people doing their home fun. And here it says complete the homework and then come back for episode two. But we called it home fun. We, we changed it on the fly, like building on the fly. Uh, so episode two, we did the first challenge where we talked about running multiplayer video games and Dom came in to help us out. Um, and that was a really fun. I learned so much from Dom on that episode. Dom's incredible. I was truly, truly impressed with the amount of knowledge he was dropping there. Like I, I felt like I was just another student in the audience, like listening to to all the things he had to say. That was a, that was a great episode, and hopefully it distracted everybody from my epic miss on a on a Zelda quote. Uh, and you know, so all in all, it's a lot of fun though. I love I love games and I love building tech for games, and so near and dear to my heart. <laughs> yeah, it's dangerous out there. Please uh, take this, right? I think <laughs> we're trying to figure it out. And the first episode, let's go back to that one. We talked about the jam interface and like how there's light mode and dark mode. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. So go go watch episode one. And when you see it, uh, it's going to look just like this. Like all of a sudden, um, Sam turned on light mode. And hold on, my, my lights aren't working. Here we go. And I was like, oh, no, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And like my lights went like full 100%. Uh, it's not working right now. I don't know why. But anyway, so that was episode one. Episode two, we did the game with Dom. Uh, threw some Zelda stuff in there. Episode three, it was the second challenge. Predict the future with your data. So unfortunately, our expert couldn't make it for episode three. But we do wish them the best. Um, so episode three, we talked about using data to peer into the future to treat it like a magic eight ball and figure out how we can use insights from that data to uh, do more things for our customers. And you know what? Sam ended up being the expert. So Sam, how stressful was that for you? You know, it's one of those, like, can you walk chew bubble gum and have a conversation kind of things? And I think I about like 85, 90% did it, but it, you can you can watch me get a couple of times there where I, I get a little lost, which I, I think was kind of fun for everybody. I think we were just having a good time. We made it through. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a really fun one. I didn't mind that. And then we ended up getting it through. I mean, um, what was it? So they said it was all about SQL and SQL. And I think Borghetti, one of our friends who keeps joining every single week, talked about how task four was the challenge task, right? So the challenge of the challenge. So for our friends here, go check out episode two, watch how we present the homework to you, and then try to figure out the challenge on your own. Heads up, task four might get you. And then go back and watch episode three and see how Sam solves that challenge. So we're kind of giving you the, the challenge beforehand, right? Uh, episode four. Our last episode, uh, we just wrapped it up on Tuesday, June 6th, so just a couple days ago. But let's talk about that one. So SageMaker, healthcare applications, and our expert was Justin Stanley. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's really timely, right? Like, you know, all this generative AI stuff's being talked about, but but I really have an appreciation for seeing these very practical use cases for stuff coming out. I mean, that's the stuff that that gets me excited for the future. Absolutely. And uh, I think what's really cool is Amazon SageMaker, uh, not just AI. I mean, like there was this, there's the meme where it says like AI, 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 AI. It's not just throwing like the two letters out there. It's not just saying AI to say AI, but like Amazon SageMaker really does allow you to use like uh, pre-generated models and um, the ability to use like SageMaker Studio as well. Like I know we're going into more features of SageMaker, but there's also SageMaker Canvas. Um, there's a whole ton of stuff that you can do, but specifically episode four, we talked about healthcare applications and using it to help uh, diagnose uh, medical conditions for patients and using that technology to rapidly speed up like the healing process or the treatment process or like orthopedic uh, abnormalities, as it says here, and improving that for, for long-term usage. So 
really cool to see how this technology can help customers and uh, help their customers at the end and help people's lives. Uh, it just really impacts people's lives. So goosebumps right now. Seriously, goosebumps, <laughs> not, not even lying. <laughs> Big stuff. Yeah. Um, Big stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So Sam, if you want, let's go ahead and jump into showing them more about, uh, we, even though we did it on episode one, showing them how to log in and where they can go. So are you ready to share your screen? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So yes. once you can see your screen, yes. All right. Here and we are. And so just so everybody can see this, we're at jam.awsevents.com. So that's a, a good place to come here. You'll be able to see, uh, you know, just about every, the very least, you'll always see our public demo up here in case you're at a place where you're, you're like, I can remember one URL and one URL only. At least this will get you started and give you something to try out. Uh, then we're going to go up here to the login. Now, if you're already on Skill Builder, which I don't know if we've mentioned it already or not, uh, all the Jam journeys are on Skill Builder. That's how you get access to the content. If you've played through the shows, episodes, and you're like, I want more of this, Skill Builder is the place. There's a lot of Jam journeys on there, different topics. There's more about games. We've got AIML, uh, networking, database, all kinds of great stuff. So there's a lot of good topics on there and a lot of great Security. stuff on Skill Builder generally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There's security because there's, so, there's re reinforce happening in Anaheim next week. So you can check out the security uh, jam journeys. Yep. Yep. Exactly. And so, and in fact, we, we did the best of reinvent is one of the things we did. So we took the best security challenges that people put forward for reinvent and published those as a jam journey, which is a great, great thing to, to be able to get into as well. Um, I, I don't know. Do you have any other, what's your favorite part about skill builder, Aaron? Uh, has to be one of the 600 plus courses that are available. Um, I, I like it because I like to actually learn directly from it. Like no lie. That's not just me. Like, you know, drinking from my own fire hose. I legitimately think this it's packed full of resources and because the resources are created in house, we know it's quality driven. Uh, seriously, it sounds like I'm staying on message, but that's, that's just me saying it. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I, you know, I, I would be with you there. I, I think what I got excited about was that, that there's a direct consumer option, right? That, that people can go and do straight from AWS. Cause I I've, I've spent a lot of money with third parties getting some training. So it's just, like you said, it's cool to get it from the source, but of course here we are shilling for AWS. And so uh, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, so hold on. I, I skipped a step here. I went straight to logging in. So what I wanted whoa, to point out whoa. is if you don't already, how'd have you get account, there? Yes, great question. So, so if I back up where we were, so we were we were on the main page here, and then I click login while we were chatting there, and then I got excited and I logged straight in. But we had we had talked about registering first, so I wanted to point out that they could come register here. Again, assuming they don't just want to go register for Skill Builder and then bring the account in that way, uh, but you can register direct with Jam if you don't, and it's pretty straightforward. It's your typical you know email name or nickname, you know quirky you know, magical, you know, someone, someone, uh, password and country, you put all this in and then you'll have your typical, like confirm your email and it'll drop you in. So now, uh, I'll go ahead and back up and I'll show you the login piece that I was so excited to get to the first time. Um, and while you do so that, um, here. you mentioned jam.awsevents.com. Did you know, and I feel, I feel so bad for saying this, but did you know you can just go to jam.aws.com? That is true. That's a very recent development. Yes. And you're, you're more on point than I am. That is absolutely true. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about that, actually. So thank you it, for bringing that up. It's both, like either one. So, hey, everyone, jam.awsevents.com or just jam.aws.com takes you to the same place, but depends on how lazy you want to get with those fingers, you know? <laughs> right. Yep. <laughs> so now, typically when you're clicking links, if you're going through our Twitch page to get here, the secret key is going to already be in the links, but sometimes you're at an event and they're going to just give you the code live or something like that. So if, if you don't already have it, this is often the place to put it in. But you'll see here, I've got uh, the public demos and then uh, all three of the home fun. So that, that was basically the content from all four episodes. And... Uh, Home fun. And then, uh, sorry. <laughs> and then, yeah, once you get in, come play all of these. Hopefully, you, I was going to say trifecta, but I was like, there's four. What would that be? Is that a quadfecta? 
uh, quad tuplet. It's the quads because it's you never skip leg day. There you go. There he is. Never skip leg day. Always do quads. I love it. Uh, we had a, I think there were, we had a leg or a foot joke uh, in one of the episodes even. So once you get into <laughs> these, right. you'll be able to come in. So so if I drop into games here, you'll see uh, each one of these just has one challenge in it. Uh, with this one, I'd, I'd left this lock because we had Dom playing it. And then so I'll, I'll come to the Twitch uh, data here that you can see. This is the one I played. Oh, it's, it's locked. I can do a new attempt. Uh, so this is going <laughs> to unlock it. And then you'll be able to read about the challenge, right? We give you kind of this overview. And this one they did, uh, uh, you know, they put an architecture here for us to look at. So we were dealing with uh, Kinesis data streams. We were dealing with a Redshift data warehouse. Some cool stuff there. Uh, dealing with SQL or SQL, depending on what, what part of the, yep. the IT world you're from. The and then what was great is Jason. we were able to... Yes, Jason, Jason, or or what a lot of people prefer sometimes is YAML. YAML. <laughs> yes. Uh, but then we were able to go st through the different steps here. What's what's great about JM is when you're playing it, you know, the challenges, they get you through the tasks, right? So one of my biggest struggles when I'm doing labs, or especially if I'm facilitating labs, is, you know, a lot of people get through chapter one and chapter two, okay, but you get into chapter three and things just don't start working the way they should. And you end up going back and going through everything. And so what's nice is here, you can see it was checking me off one by one as we were playing through this. So it made sure I finished the previous text before I got into the next. And so even with this one that, that people found a little more challenging, at least they always knew when they completed the task, it had verified that, that they had done what they were supposed to and gave us that big checkbox. Uh, we did have the ability to use some clues along the way. I think uh, we managed to make it through without clues, but that, I was using my jam Are you exposing magic the clues? No, 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 no. Clues. Don't expose the clues. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I haven't. We have not. Oh, well, confidentiality okay. has been preserved. Uh, and I will say, though, to anybody, right, uh, if you do play it and you do get stuck, it's a great opportunity to go watch the episodes because we do give a walkthrough to completion on the challenges. So uh, a little extra help if you need need some help getting over the hurdle there. We do, but you know, because task four was, uh, it was, it was pretty impactful. Are there any tips that we can give people now before they go watch episode three or try homework, home fun for episode two? I think with episode, with task four, the, the trick is, you know, this is one of those ones where, you know, they give us a blog article as an outline. I, I honestly, I probably would have used at least one of the clues to get through task four. Um, and if you don't want to use the clues and you still want help, go watch the episode. And then you can tell your friends, I didn't use any clues and I totally passed task four. You don't have to tell them you watched the episode <laughs> while you did it. Um, but, you know, and, and here's the thing. And we mentioned it on the stream, too. We're always looking at feedback. We're always trying to improve these. So if you come back in a month, I wouldn't be surprised if, if this is actually, you know, a little different. We found a way to streamline it a bit because uh, we're always trying to make sure people are getting the most out of these. Exactly. Well. Thank you, Sam, for walking us through that, how to log in, how to get registered, even talking about Skill Builder a little bit. Um, for everyone who is uh, maybe just tuning in, we're talking about eight of us jam journeys. I'm gonna show you where you can go. Um, and here we go. So awspowerhour.com. I'll take you to the training and certification on Twitch page. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see jam journeys. Okay, right there. And what you can see from there is um the details about the series so go watch all the episodes watch them on demand do the home fun uh connect with magical mr biggs here my friend sam <laughs> on linkedin and, and instagram um and then or not instagram what is it shoot linkedin and Qu twitter. twitter that one the other website <laughs> um, and you can do the same thing for me too and if you get stuck anywhere go ahead and send us a message we're happy to try to help you out um and yeah watch the videos on demand, enjoy the rest of the AWS summit in London. So we'll go ahead and sign off. Stay tuned, everyone. Don't go anywhere. More from AWS on air coming up here pretty soon. And I was going in clutch with the, with the, with the sunglasses. <laughs> Every time. Come right. find us live. We look forward to meeting you. And otherwise, uh, enjoy the summit, everybody. All right, everyone. Take care. <laughs> Bye.